Well, welcome back to Pursuit for Adventure. So today's mission is a good friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> it's Redneck Hot Tub Day. So it's my job here to, uh, to provide the water for the hot tub and then we're going to give you a demonstration on what some fine ingenuity can do. <laughs> well, I'm on my way to Jamie's site. He's going to start the, or uh, fill up his hot tub with water and bromine so we can have a bit of a hot tub night. Let's go check out what he's got going on there. Let's uh, let's see this old girl here. Turn her on. Always likes to start slow. Turn the speed down. Choke full. And what do you think? One pull? Absolutely. Oh yeah. So, according to scientific calculation, I need to run this pump for six, six minutes at minimum. I think I'll go seven to make a mess at Jamie's site. <laughs> All right, here she goes. Well, it's just uh, slightly past uh, five minute mark here. So, right around uh, the six minute mark is when the screaming is gonna start. <laughs> Water going flying everywhere. So, I'm with you guys, but uh, I see let's run it for another couple of minutes. <laughs> there she's full. I'll fill it right over. Hey, okay, right full. Now the problem is, is uh, you only have a generator, so heating this with a generator would be difficult. So take a look what Jamie's rigged up here. This is a, uh, a pool heater. <laughs> so the idea is it uh, runs off propane um, and heats it up. It was initially uh, natural gas and we had a bit of an episode, but uh, let's not talk about it exploding on us. <laughs> But it's uh it's perfectly operational now. You have a slight little leak there. I wanted to get on that, but uh, yeah, it's pumping it through heater into the hot tub. Oh, three hours later and uh, 50 pounds of propane. It should be uh, good to go. Well, at least it's a good uh, sign that there's mushrooms. I didn't mean to pluck that. <laughs> that one's dried out. Yeah, there's another one right there too. Let's quickly try to use it. So these are what deer? I don't know. I left the book in the truck. I should get the book too. But these are lobster mushrooms. Lobster mushrooms? Okay, take your word for it. Oh, lots of them there. Get a good washing. Yep. Lots are thick. John Trails. Nice. We're back at the camp. Rob's gone to see if he can find a few more mushrooms. And we stopped at the, what do you call it? SA Cube, which is basically the liquor store in Tamiskaming on our travels today. And we bought this vodka. We don't, we've never had it before, but anyway, I've been told I'm in charge of making the drink. So I'm having a little vodka, 
a little sparkling water. It's the uh, ginger ale version and a splash of watermelon. Uh, Tropicana, I think, makes that. Yeah, juice. So I'm going to start out with uh, approximately an ounce and a half to two ounces of vodka. I'm just eyeballing it because I don't have a shot glass here. I'm make it look even. And that's, I don't know if I can see that, but two glasses. I need to get my ice maker going. I have an ice maker here, but it hasn't been turned on yet. I need to fill it with water. So I'm going to give half a glass of bubbly to each, and then I'm going to top up the rest with, I guess not the whole cup, I'll just do a splash on each of, just for a little extra flavoring. There. And now some Tropicana. It's actually good like this, you don't even need the juice. Just for something different, we're going to add a splash of juice. So, just enough to give it a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. And that'll be, that'll be delicious. Oh, cheers guys. Very good. We didn't get a, enough mushrooms to make a complete meal here, but I'm going to actually add. It took me quite a bit of time to get the actual dirt off of the, uh, the lobster mushrooms. but uh, So I'm going to have lobster mushrooms. I'm going to use store-bought saute mushrooms, which is a combination of shiitake, button, cremini. Uh, I'm going to use some garlic, and we're going to create a sauce for our pasta out of it. So normally Alfredo is actually not even made with cream. However, this is a complete cheat. I am going to use some brandy. I'm going to flambe the mushrooms. And for all you people out there to mention that I eat better camping than you do in your real life. Sorry. What? Who says that? <laughs> oh, lots of people at work. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we are going to make a gourmet pasta here. Um, on top of this, I'm going to add... Romano cheese mm. and some cream. Yeah, I know that r traditional Alfredo is actually pasta water and butter. However, this is Rob's little hack. I'm going to make a nice little mushroom sauce and we're going to pour that over the pasta. It's going to be spectacular. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna add some add some garlic. Garlic's never hurt anybody. So uh, minimum of three cloves of garlic. I like to just give them a little crush here. Pull the skin off like that. So I'm going to cut these up nice and fine and then I'm going to throw some salt on top to um, get them a nice, nice paste to it. I don't want any chunks of garlic. I want to be incorporated with the actual mushroom sauce. So I just give it a coarse chop to start. And then I'm going to throw some salt on it. To this, uh, sorry I couldn't get more mushrooms, but anyway, 
this is what we'll add to our pan. You want you want a, a fair bit of mushroom because these things are gonna reduce down, and this is where all your flavor for your past is coming from. So I'm just gonna cut them up to make them kind of uniform. Um, like that, and this will get nice in the pan. So I'm gonna put some uh, butter in the pan. All this is gonna go in there, I'm gonna render it down to a nice uh, reduced state, and then I'm gonna add some cream, and that's gonna be the base of my sauce. But before I add the cream, I will flambe it with some brandy. Adds a, just a touch of a unique flavor. Okay. So I put a, I put a fair bit of butter in here. Let that melt down, and I'm going to add the add the shrimps to it. That's what we collected today: those lobster mushrooms and a couple of chanterelles. Very smelling good. So uh, clubhouse little Italiano. I'm going to put some of that in there. Just a little bit. So what you're looking at here is you look at the amount of mushrooms we have now. I'm gonna render this right down. Is that? So we at least half a minute. Probably quarter of that. And the idea is um, we want to get that mushroom flavor out of it, and then the cream goes in. I will add a crack of pepper too. I wish we had smell-o-vision because, you guys, this smells fantastic. Nothing better than a frying mushroom, eh? <laughs> With garlic, yeah. Yeah, for sure. it smells amazing. So I'll let that render down, and then uh, before I add the cream, I'll do the flambe. Um, I know that's a real pretentious, fancy thing, but... We're at camp. Yeah. We don't have to be uh, roughing it. Yes, right. <laughs> This is the glamper, not the camper. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? PC makes a Korean barbecue um, sauce. <laughs> In a jar. In a jar. <laughs> I know it's cheating, but it's it's, it's it rather good. Delicious. So, a little hack, yeah. Doesn't really matter what beef it is, but uh, pour it in, let it sit overnight, and then make skewers the next day out of it, and it's uh, it's terribly good. <laughs> Here's it marinated. I cut it in fairly thin chunks. And as you can see here, we just weave it through the kebab stick. And that goes on the barbecue like that. Put a couple on. Two or three, eh? Yeah. Split it apart. Split it apart and then uh, really high, high heat on the barbecue. It's kind of got it like a um, sesame seed kind of a sweetness to it. And it kind of gets caramelized and sticky and it's... Uh, Rather delicious. It's delicious. Can you see? I can. So this is what you're looking for. These are rendered down to about a quarter size now. The garlic, the seasoning, everything is really condensed. So we're gonna add some brandy now to this. Some some fine brandy. Fine. And I'm gonna light it with a lighter. So, the first thing is, is to make it taste better, you could take a sip of brandy first. Is it fine? It's not very fine. <laughs> <laughs> you pour it in, you glaze it, and then hit it. Oi, 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 And part of this is we don't got no eyebrows left, it's fine. It's all fine, people. It's a pretty 
my mushrooms. I'm not burning your mushrooms. <laughs> there you go. Boy, I made a mess of my stove. Turn your gas off, maybe. There's a lot of alcohol in that brandy. <laughs> yeah. Well, just a couple of things here, I guess, people. Um, one, I would have thought that a RV range would have a metal propeller, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's plastic. It's plastic. I can't believe you'd actually put plastic above heat. Above heat. So this is part of the channel. Um, that'd be my uh, fan blades. That'd be my fan blades. <laughs> so wow. Stay tuned for a future modification of the trailer. It I can't, will be honestly, I can't believe you would put plastic in a range hood. All right. Anyway, let's uh, get back at it. On to the cream and cheese. Okay, so a couple of things here. When you're adding your, um, your cream, don't have the heat really, really high. Because when that cream hits the heat, it's going to curdle. So look over here, small, small flame, and I will add the cream and the cheese and I'll bring it up slowly. Uh, tip number one. Tip number two is leave a little bit of cream left because odds are you're gonna make the, the sauce too thick and you're gonna wanna cut it down a bit. Tip number three. I have some scissors on hand. <laughs> oh my god, this isn't my evening. <laughs> All right, get a little closer. Pour it in. So I'm gonna leave a little bit in here. Okay. And get that all stirred in. So lesson learned, if we were to do the flambe again, we would do the cooking the way we started and we would do the flambeing out on the barbecue. <laughs> hey Rob? So there's probably a lot of husband and wives out there. Yeah, a few of them. It's funny how some people bring things forward after something happened. That's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, we're just saying. Yeah. Don't yeah. follow what we did. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to tell after the fact. Yeah. Don't be flambeing in a trailer with a cheap a, little fan. A that's... plastic fan fan that we didn't know was there. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. I probably put a little bit too much brandy in there. Um, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? It could have happened if you had half the brandy. I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll totally do this inside knows? next time. And we're just joking around here. Yeah, crap happens. Stay tuned because we're just, whatever happens, happens. You guys get to see it. So, yep. Um, it there's is no, what it is. There's no filtering around here. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are who we are. Yeah. Fire in the trailer and all. <laughs> all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add. Mushroom 
Oh, yeah. All right, food's cooked for the most part. We just have to cook the steaks. Jamie's got his barbecue started. We're doing it on his charcoal egg. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna head over now bring our towels and our salad and Rob's got the pasta there ready to go and we're gonna have dinner at Jamie's and a red knot hot tub. How's dinner dear? Very good. Very good. Yep. What? Pasta's awesome. I'm gonna try one of the uh, pieces of meat here. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Make it again? Before I dump my food on the floor. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Hello, oh. Robert. It's hot tub time. We're going in the red neck hot tub. If you like. Well, welcome back to the canoe, everyone. We are on McConnell Lake. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we're hoping for some rainbow trout. I think there's also splake in here too, if I'm not wrong, mistaken. Yep, so we're just gonna paddle along here and try to find some interesting areas where fish might be hanging out. The water is very clear and the lake is deep real quick. It's a nice lake. Oh, not sure if we got something here. You hard? It's pulling hard, whatever it is. I see them. Hey? I see them. Yeah, it's going all over the place here. Yep, I seen them a second ago. Are I'm you? Lying. No, you're not. I don't think I should worry about your hook going in my face right now. Oh, he's fighting, Rob. Oh, look at him. I got him by the side. What is he? He's a bass. <laughs> I guess we're eating him. All right, guys, it's like four o'clock. We only caught the one, um, I think by chance, <laughs> but we weren't skunked. So we are just gonna cut this baby up and then we're going to head on back into the truck and grab some ice, I think, eh? Mm -hmm. And probably make our way home. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please give it a like, a thumbs up. And comment below. Uh, we are here every Sunday posting videos. Subscribe if you enjoy. And we will see you guys next weekend, next Sunday for another adventure. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, hopefully the canoe stays there for us. Otherwise, one of us is going for a swim.